Okay, the next honorable mention goes to Mark Holt, London, United Kingdom. This is a uh, sound example, and let me play it for you. It, uh, it kind of grows on you, I think. There's some interesting sound patterns in there. Uh, let me uh, just take a look at uh, what's going on here in this code to produce this result. So um, this takes advantage of Mathematica's built-in uh, sound uh, functionality, which accesses the, the MIDI functionality of your computer. So it's, uh, it's a sound of a table. So that means it's going to play a sequence of things. Each element of the table is one, one sound that you hear. And each element is a sound note. The sound note takes a list of values and plays those things as a chord. So let's, let's look at an example. So if I say, for example, sound of sound note and give it a list, say 159, uh, and it'll play a, it will play a chord. Which corresponds to the uh, notes assigned to 1, 5, and 9. So what Mark is doing here in the meat of this example, which is here, is he's constructing a series of chords which are played in sequence. We can pick out uh, sub-expressions of this and just evaluate them outside to find out what's happening. So there's two things here that are multiplied together, this nest list and this uh, complicated expression here. So the nest list is setting up the scale of the example. Uh, it's just a compact way of expressing this list, which uh, is essentially the scale. And then this other code here picks out uh, elements of that chord and plays them in sequence. So how does it pick out the elements? Let's look at this sub-expression here, real digits of 1 7 That gets us a list of, um, of digits which is uh, varied and, and sort of uh, has a random character to it. We pick out the first element of that, which is this list here. Divide by 50, let's pull out that expression here. When you divide by 50 then, you get a list of numbers between 0 and 1, which Mark used as probabilities. So the way those are used as probabilities is by applying random choice to it. So it's going to make a random choice of a 0 or a 1. And that choice is weighted by this first argument of random choice. Um, it's weighted by these probabilities that were derived from the digits of 1 7 So essentially, this is a, a number of tracks. Each track corresponds to one note, and that note is played uh, randomly with a probability given by the digits of 1 7 And then there's some code over here which uh, replaces zeros and that output with none, which, which uh, gives a, a pause. So uh, that's a nice uh, scheme for producing some, some random melodic structures, harmonic structures. Yeah, a fun example there. And if you want to play that for yourself, uh, we'll have the notebook uh, up for download soon. And you can uh, play around with some of those too and see what kind of sounds you can make.